Hey friend, you are back with the Aries Alchemist for another general tarot reading. This is for my Aquarius friends. So if you're an Aquarius sun, moon, or rising, something in this is for you. We'll see what's going on. You know what? I should have just did this before I turned the camera on. I knew I wasn't going to want to wait. But I need to. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my god, I hope y'all cannot hear me actually chewing. Chew further away. So we got the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, the Strength card, Six of Pentacles in reverse, Ace of Swords in reverse, the Four of Wands, Three of Pentacles, Hermit in reverse, Knight of Swords in reverse. So you don't feel very comfortable in your home or in your skin right now. And Spirit is telling you to just stay strong. This feeling is temporary. So what's happening is you're getting upgraded right now. You're getting different gifts. You've had people helping you, giving you great ideas thus far, and you've passed some tests spiritually. So now it's time for you to get initiated into a different type of gift. And I'm trying to think of the words. <clears throat> the spirit realm and the physical realm are, they have a lot of similarities, but there's a lot of differences too. So when they... Um, give us these gifts, I guess you would just say, like when they give us these gifts or they activate the gifts that are within us or whatever, like they don't identify with our human body and how that physically feels to us here in the present moment. So it might make you feel sick or like pressure or just like mentally scramble and things like that. They mean no harm. It's just like they're not in embodiment. So like they forget sometimes. So you can also say something like say a prayer asking for it to be as physically easy on you as possible. That might mean that it takes like a longer span of time, but I would rather be at a four for two weeks than at a 10 for one week. You know what I mean? Like as far as like pain and discomfort. So you can put that request in too. But um, they're letting you know again, like just stay strong. You're definitely gonna be okay. You've passed these tests. You've had great ideas. A lot of people have helped you and now it's time for you to do more things on your own because you'll have the ability to do that. You know what your title's gonna be. Okay, and so it's funny, just to be transparent, I just ate those for my anxiety. I had a phone call right before I was about to start this video um, that is honestly, it's going in my favor, but just like the fear of exactly how the process is going to unfold made me anxious. And so it's like, this is making you anxious because you just don't know exactly what's going to happen next. You have a vague feeling that it's okay, but you just don't have enough information so they're saying with this four of wands and this three of pentacles like it's okay for you to find ways to just kind of distract yourself right now in order to self-soothe whether that has to deal with other people whether you're just partying whether you you know engage moderately in a vice or something like that just to get through this that's totally okay because it really is going in your favor and there will be no like negative consequences of you making yourself comfortable as long as you don't go too hard you do not have to go through this alone as you have the energy <clears throat> and you're feeling physically okay too. You can be around people to make this load lighter on you. You will be protected while you're out and about. So now what are three actions you can take just for your betterment in general? Raise your vibration. That's been coming out for literally everybody. So, sorry, everybody today. Not that exact card, but like those words keep being channeled with whatever card I pull. I actually did like 10 videos today and two of them got the exact same cards. Crazy. That had never happened before. Well, to me. Okay, but you gotta raise your vibration, bust out of your cocoon and do something different. These literally 
all have the same energy for you. You need to get yourself in a better mood. So if that means breaking your routine to go and have fun with other people that you don't normally hang out with, that's what you need to do because your mood is the most important thing right now because that's attracting your reality. So you don't want to, on top of not feeling well physically, attract situations that have you more mentally ill and things like that. So you can watch cartoons, you can hang out with your childhood bestie, like something that's definitely going to put you in a good mood. Make that your top priority. Over work, over everything. But that's what I have for you guys today. If anything resonated, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel. And if you'd like a personal reading with me, you can look one through the link in the description box. Alright y'all, peace.